Hi. Today we're going to have some fun. We're going to make a surprise for my wife. And it's going to help me because I'm sick of walking into the clotheslines when I go around the side of the house. We're going to build a couple folding clothes hangers, lines, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. We're going to attach it right here. This is where we're going to weld the folding clothes hanger up to, right here. Right on the security bars. You can see I've already made a mark right here. That's going to be the height. About six foot. I'm 6'3", so I'm sure to walk into it constantly. But that's why they're folding, so you can fold them up. And I can keep the scars on my forehead down to a minimum. I'm gonna build another one right here. That's where we're gonna... I've already cut the pieces, and it's gonna save a lot of time, and I'm pretty sure you don't care about watching them cut. But they're right here. Need four of these. Four of these guys, we're gonna make a hinge. It goes like this, it's gonna be mounted to the window. This is gonna go like this. And there's gonna be a bolt that goes right through there and this is gonna fold up like this. Hopefully, we'll see. All right, we need to grind these off like this. We need to grind them round because this is gonna be sticking out from the from the grills, from the security gate. So, you gotta round these off. We can do that by doing this. It don't have to be perfect, but, you know, that's pretty much what we're going for. We gotta do all four of them. Okay, I uh, got all the grinding done. And uh, I went ahead and squared these up. Because whoever cut them obviously needs glasses. So... This is how they're gonna work. This is the setup. Remember, these have to be opposing. So the holes have to be drilled here, 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 and here. And after we drill the holes, we're gonna have to cut off this edge right here because it's gonna bind if you don't, if you don't cut it off because it's gotta be a hinge. It's gonna fold up like this, like this. So it's, the hole has to be at least, you know, far enough that this is going to fold up. So we're going to figure that out, and then I'll mark them, and then we'll drill them. All right. Well, as you can see, I changed to a cutoff wheel on my grinder, because we're going to remove these corners off. And I've also marked all of these sets so they're paired they go together no matter what this is three this is three two one you can't mess them up if you get them screwed up a little bit the holes aren't going to line up or it'll be something you just we're going to cut this off just 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 match them okay don't have to be perfect man it's not the Queen Mary you know what I'm saying just get those racks all right here's another one let's see where the, okay this one goes like this and go like this that. a little 
Okay. Get that clamped. Now we're going to go like this. off on that but I don't care all right this would be a lot easier with a drill press but uh, just use whatever you got man you know once again it's not the Queen Mary just clamp it together now you've already drilled your hole and I can use that as the pilot hole I marked an inch off of this of the uh, this is where the grills are gonna attach right here Make sure you use the most expensive drill bits you can buy. Snap on cobalt if you got them. Or use this Harbor Freight tool. Ten, ten of them for five bucks. Either way. Just, you know, drill the hole. That's all you gotta do. fun you put the bolt through which I've done with all of them and you get those off somehow get rid of that then you can see how it works you see But now we need to clean these up right here because whoever cut these needs glasses. So we're just going to clean these up right here. And look, it doesn't matter all these little buggers on here and splinters because we're going to hit it with the, with the wire wheel. And it's going to clean all those off. Just make sure you keep these mated pieces together. Three goes with three, obviously. So. Let's see what happens next. Gonna come down 17. Or close to it. Take your trusty speed square. Make a mark. Alright, this is the point where you can make a mistake. You have to make sure you put the left on the left and the right on the right. So I'm going to use number two. I'm going to put it right up here.
Now is when you take the wire wheel and clean all the welds plus all the little splinters and boogers at the end. Okay, well, this is it. From that point, all you do is measure from here to here, clamp it right there, and then weld it, and it's done. You see, it just folds up like this. And then when you wanna use it, you fold it down, and then you catch your forehead right here. Like that, when you come around the corner. Good morning. It's uh, the next day and all the paint is dry. And as you can see, my masking job worked out very well. I have to do a little bit of touch up paint, but that's okay. So we're gonna install them right now, shouldn't take long, and then I'll be back. Okay, we're done. Got her all done. All touched up. Looking pretty good. They fold right down. Fold right up. Total cost for the job, 10 bucks. All right, check back with you, bye.